Hello, and welcome to another installment of the AMSOIL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. In 1972, AMSOIL introduced the first synthetic motor oil to pass the service requirements of the American Petroleum Institute. Since then, virtually every lubricant manufacturer has introduced a synthetic motor oil of their own. And today, synthetic motor oils are everywhere. Vehicle manufacturers are recommending or requiring the use of synthetic motor oils in their vehicles. But what exactly is synthetic motor oil? Well, for the answer to that question, we went to the experts. The biggest difference between a conventional lubricant and, and synthetic lubricant is basically where they come from. Conventional oils are obtained through the distillation of crude oil. Synthetics, on the other hand, are chemically engineered and basically man-made. In a mineral oil, you get a lot of undesirables. You've got hydrocarbons that aren't refined. Uh, you get gases. You get waxes. You get things that don't have any real true beneficial lubricating qualities to them. Whereas with the Amsoil synthetics, what you get is what you pay for, a lubricating product that's been, been designed in the lab to deliver performance at a prescribed type setting, so to speak. Because of the molecular structure of the material that's within the uh, conventional ma uh, base material, it can be negatively affected and deteriorate or oxidize when exposed to temperature. Synthetics, on the other hand, are more uniform in nature. They are more thermally stable. They're what they call saturated, which gives them a, a, a far greater resistance to thermal breakdown. One of the big advantages uh, of that not only is their ability to function and protect in high temperature applications better than conventionals, but it, it ex, uh, uh, results in a life expectancy significantly longer than what can be provided by conventional uh, base stocks. So today we know that not all synthetic motor oils are created equal. Just like conventional motor oils, some are better than others. So we went back to the experts and asked, what sets AMSOIL apart? Well, AMSOIL is a little bit different than other synthetic producers because we're not linked to any base stock or base oil supplier or additive supplier. So what we do is we look around the entire world and we find the best technology available anywhere and then we'll bring two, three, four different types of base stocks together along with the best additives that we can find and that's how we make our synthetic fluids. Where other people might be locked into they have to use one certain base oil, we don't have those restrictions and as a result we produce the best we feel in the world. The key and one of the real advantages that Amsoil has as a company is we can sit down, look at the application, and then select the type of synthetic base material or blend of synthetic base material that will provide the greatest level of performance and benefit for an application. We are not restricted by the use of only one type of synthetic material. We can go out and make sure that it's the best. So, now we know what sets AMSOIL apart, but how does the consumer benefit? The big advantages to the consumer in terms of synthetic lubricants are overall engine protection. People are keeping vehicles a lot longer. They want those uh, engines to last longer. So the synthetics provide that engine protection over a long period of time. Number two is people are busy. They don't have time to change their fluids. Because synthetic fluids last a lot longer, you have the convenience of not having to change them nearly as often as you do with conventional products. Overall cost effectiveness, the value proposition when you use a synthetic far outperforms anything you can achieve with a petroleum product and that's probably the biggest benefit of a synthetic. Many studies in the marketplace have demonstrated fuel economy benefits when you use a synthetic and that's because it's more slippery. I mean if you compare synthetic to petroleum, the synthetic's more slippery and even major OEMs like GM, Ford and Eaton make claims regarding what a synthetic product can deliver as far as fuel economy benefits uh, in an engine, which in today's marketplace is pretty important when you consider the rapidly escalating cost of fuels. So, there you have it. What oil should you be using? I'm Rob Stenberg. We'll see you next time.